For years, many Canadian retirees have been just scraping by, forced to stretch their meager pension payments further than they should ever have to. The rising costs of living, housing, health care, and other necessities have pushed far too many seniors into difficult financial situations through no fault of their own. But relief may finally be on the way. In a move that could uplift millions of elderly Canadians from the brink, the federal government is planning to roll out a substantial new financial aid package through the Canada Pension Plan, CPP. This long overdue boost would provide eligible seniors with up to 1,354 lungs in additional annual income starting this year. For a retiree subsisting on the average CPP payment of around $8,000 per year, an extra $1,354 could be absolutely life-changing. That's a potential 17% increase in their yearly pension, enough to help cover rising rent or mortgage costs, pay for more nutritious groceries, cover outstanding medical or utility bills, and ease a tremendous burden for so many struggling to make ends meet. While the full eligibility details have yet to be hammered out, the new top-up payments are expected to be made available to any CPP recipient over age 70 whose total household income falls below a still-to-be-determined income threshold. Unlike many other government benefits, this financial aid would not be considered taxable income. For the millions of Canadian seniors and their families who have been barely hanging on, this new CPP financial aid could be the boost they've desperately needed at long last. It won't fix every problem, but perhaps it can start providing the increased security and comfort that all of Canada's elderly citizens deserve in their twilight years. This highly anticipated financial aid package couldn't come at a better time. The past few years have been excruciatingly difficult for seniors across the country, with the COVID-19 pandemic exposing major flaws and vulnerabilities in the systems meant to protect our elderly. And even as the worst of the health crisis recedes, the economic impacts are still lingering. Just consider the reality today's retirees are facing. Whether they own their home or rent, housing expenses are consuming far too great a portion of the average senior's income in cities all across Canada. Home values and rental rates keep skyrocketing year after year, yet pension payments have simply not kept pace. For the many retirees on fixed incomes who haven't seen a substantial cost of living increase in ages, these rising housing costs have forced harsh budgeting decisions between keeping a roof overhead and paying for other critical needs like food, medications and utilities. Countless seniors have had to drain what little they've managed to save just to avoid losing their homes or being forced into unsuitable housing options. A 2022 study found that a shocking 16% of Canadian seniors faced food insecurity on at least one occasion over the previous year. Let that appalling statistic sink in, one out of every six retirees could not reliably access or afford enough food to meet their basic nutritional needs. While hunger is thankfully relatively uncommon among the elderly here, far more are stuck skipping meals, relying on cheap, unhealthy food options or watering down their meals just to stretch an inadequate food budget. At a point when proper nutrition is more critical than ever, our most vulnerable seniors can't afford the quality of food they deserve. The high cost of aging and health care. From dental care to vision needs, hearing aids to mobility equipment, the costs associated with aging can add up alarmingly fast. And that's to say nothing of the mounting out-of-pocket prescription drug costs many face as they get older and develop more chronic health conditions. Even with public health care coverage, countless Canadian seniors can't keep up with the litany of unavoidable medical expenses 
that eventually arise. Too many are left, with impossible choices, skip potentially life-saving treatments, take on debt to cover costs, or sacrifice other necessities just to receive adequate care. All of this paints a bleak picture, where far too many of Canada's elderly are facing a true affordability crisis, stretched beyond their limits, just trying to survive another month. Years, or even decades of saving, can vanish in the blink of an eye, thanks to circumstances largely outside their control. And we haven't even touched on other critical costs like home maintenance, transportation, technology to stay connected, or basic recreation and entertainment to enrich their lives. The unfortunate reality is that for a huge swath of Canadian retirees, simply getting by has become an endless gauntlet of cutting corners, making sacrifices, and missing out on achieving that comfortable quality of life they've worked so hard to earn. No one should have to go through that kind of undignified struggle in their later years after building the communities and economic foundations we all enjoy today. A new approach and commitment is badly needed to support our seniors, and this CPP financial aid package could be an important first step in the right direction. By injecting up to $1,354 per year in additional income directly into the bank accounts of lower-income retirees, this new aid program has the potential to significantly impact their lives in various ways. It will enable seniors to afford quality, nutritious foods every week without worry, ensuring they receive the necessary nutrition to stay healthy. Moreover, it will provide greater housing security by covering rent or mortgage increases, freeing up funds to repair, retrofit, or modify homes for improved safety and livability. Additionally, it will help offset out-of-pocket costs for medications, medical devices, professional care services, and other healthcare needs, allowing seniors to maintain their quality of life. This aid will also open up new opportunities for engagement, socialization, and recreation by giving seniors more financial freedom to pursue hobbies, take courses, or attend community events. Furthermore, it will allow retirees to pay off looming debts or build up a modest emergency fund, ensuring that one minor crisis doesn't put their entire livelihood at risk. Overall, this program will inject billions of dollars into the economy through increased consumer spending on goods and services by seniors, stimulating economic growth and benefiting the broader community. This CPP payment boost is more than just about putting a few extra dollars in retirees' pockets each month. It's about restoring some much-needed dignity, security, and peace of mind to make their golden years shine a little brighter. It's about acknowledging the invaluable contributions seniors have made to Canada and ensuring they can finally enjoy a higher quality of life in their later years. Of course, this financial aid program is just one step and much more will need to be done to fully address the growing affordability crisis facing our nation's elderly. But for the millions of CPP recipients set to benefit from this new income top-up, it could mark a critical turning point and open the door to further expansions of support and services down the road. The ball is now in the government's court to expedite the rollout and delivery of this CPP aid. Application processes need to be clear and streamlined to maximize participation. Eligibility thresholds will need to be set at appropriate levels, balancing fiscal realities with capturing as many at-risk seniors as possible. And above all, this program needs to be structured for longevity and reliability retirees deserve to know these payments will continue flowing consistently year after year. Every delay or bungle in getting the funds out efficiently robs vulnerable seniors of that financial lifeline for weeks or potentially months longer. 
For many, that could push their breaking point even closer and dim the promise of this aid package restoring their long-denied stability and comfort. And so we, as engaged citizens, must lend our voices too, putting pressure on our leaders to prioritise the effective rollout of this critical financial aid. We must be a driving force behind this program, fulfilling its goals and ideals, upholding Canada's duty of caring for its senior citizens with honour and respect. Simply put, we all have skin in this game, because our parents and grandparents bore the burden of building this nation as we know it today. And just as they looked after us, we have an obligation to ensure they can live out their golden years with financial security, good health, and the dignity every single senior deserves. So spread the word, because this is fantastic news that deserves to be shouted from the rooftops. Share this video far and wide, like it to elevate its visibility, and make sure you're subscribed so you never miss an update on this pivotal new CPP aid program and other important personal finance topics. Our elderly have waited far too long for a meaningful lifeline from indignity. It's about time we rally together and make that a reality once and for all. They've held up their end of the bargain through hard work and dedication to Canada. Now it's our turn to have their backs just as they had ours. Simply click that subscription button and you'll be playing your part in this critical mission of supporting our nation's most vulnerable seniors. There's finally real hope on the horizon, delivered by this landmark $1,354 CPP financial aid program, but only if we collectively make our voices heard and hold our leaders accountable to swift and comprehensive action. The path ahead is clear. All that remains is for us to see it through together. So what are you waiting for? Subscribe right now and join the movement, pushing for greater financial security, health and dignity for every single Canadian senior. Their life's work and sacrifices built the world we inherited. They've more than earned the chance to live out their golden years with the peace of mind this aid package could deliver. Hit that like button, drop a share on your socials, and subscribe to stay up to date on this potential game changer.